Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the muscular artery. So what are the identifying points? The identifying points are the tunica intima that is composed of endothelial cells and subendothelial connective tissue. Then we'll get the tunica media that is composed of smooth muscle, very thick layer of smooth muscles. And here in the tunica intima and the tunica media are separated by very distinct internal elastic lamina. This is very distinct in a muscular artery. Muscular artery are also called medium sized artery, also called distributing artery, and they are the most numerous arteries. So, this is the internal elastic lamina that is very prominent in the muscular arteries. This is the endothelial cell composed of simple squamous epithelium, and we have also here the sub endothelial connective tissue that is less distinct and is thinner in comparison to that of the elastic artery. We have also external elastic lamina in this slide. It is indistinct. And this is the tunica adventitia. Adventitia contains the vasa vasorum. It contains lymphatics. It also contains unmalinated nerves. The endothelial cells are simple squamous epithelial cell and they are connected by the tight junction or occluding junction. The endothelial cell has some processes that goes through the fenestration of the internal elastic lamina and that, that process make communication with that of the smooth muscle and that communication by means of the gap junction. These are the smooth muscle. We may have, may have up to 40 layers of smooth muscle. In between the smooth muscle, we have elastic fibers. The smooth muscles are also communicating to each other by means of gap junction. External elastic lamina is indistinct in this slide and external elastic lamina is also fenestrated. Internal elastic lamina is also fenestrated. Okay, here we are looking another slide of muscular arteries. You have to remember that muscular arteries are the most numerous arteries, like that of the we have the brachial artery, radial artery, ulnar artery, popliteal artery, femoral artery. So these all are the muscular arteries. They are as a rule may contain up to 40 layers of smooth muscle here in the tunica media. The small muscular artery may have only five layers of smooth muscle. Elastic fibers are present in between the smooth muscles. And these smooth muscles are usually smaller than that of, that of the smooth muscles of the intestine, a little bit smaller. Okay. Here in this slide, we are seeing the external elastic lamina is here it is seen here, but the internal elastic lamina is very prominent in the muscular arteries or the distributing arteries or medium sized arteries. Okay, this is the tunica adventitia, it is composed of fibroelastic connective tissue, it contains elastic fiber and collagen fibers, and it also contains the vasa basorum arterial venule capillaries. It also contains the lymphatics and the unmyelinated nerve fiber that releases the norepinephrine that causes vaso that causes vasoconstriction. So the lumen of the blood vessel is constricted depending on the secretion of the norepinephrine from the nerve fibers present in the tunic advantage here. The vasa vasorum provide the nutrition and oxygen up to the outer part of the of the tunica media, inner part of the tunica media, tunica intima, the oxygen and nutrition is maintained by diffusion from the blood in the lumen of the blood vessel. 
Okay. So now we like to compare one medium sized artery with that of a vein. Artery has very thick internal elastic lamina and the muscle layer, maybe up to 40 layers of smooth muscle interparts with that of the elastic fiber. And the smooth muscle fiber also produce the, the conduitin sulfate, the type 3 collagen, and also they they also make the elastic fibers. So these are coming from the smooth muscles here. Okay. So in comparison to that of the vein, smooth muscle is very thin and lumen is collapsible. It may not be circular. It is, it is almost always collapsible because walls are thin. Here we have very thick layer of muscle. So it is circular and it, it is, it has a good shape here, but here it is collapsible. And these are the blood present here. These are the, the, the blood present here. It also contains tunica intima, tunica media, tunica adventitia. And these are the connective tissue containing some adipose, adipose cells, okay, and blood vessels. Okay, so what are the highlights identifying point of a muscular artery? We have the endothelium composed of simple squamous epithelium with a thin subendothelial connective tissue with very distinct internal elastic lamina and the tunica media contain several layers of smooth muscles interparts with that of elastic fiber. The smooth muscle layer may be up to 40, maybe, maybe five layers in a small uh, muscular artery. And these are the most numerous arteries and almost all arteries except the aorta and its major branches. These are the medium sized muscular arteries. Okay, they contain up to five to 40 layers of smooth muscle layers. The smooth muscle layer, the smooth muscles also, also produces the elastic fiber, the conduitin sulfate, sulfate and the collagen. Identifying point, we got that the internal elastic lamina, the tunica media is very thick, containing several layers of muscle. And also we have the tunica adventitia containing vasa vesorum like other blood vessels. So all three layers are present, tunica intima, tunica media, tunica adventitia. But tunica media is very thick. We can differentiate between the artery and vein. Artery is thick wall, vein is thin wall, vein is collapsible, artery has a regular shape, it is circular shape. Lining epithelium is simple squamous epithelium. They are connected by means of the occluding junction, but this, this endothelial cell has processes that goes through the fenestration of the internal elastic lamina and communicate with that of the underlying smooth muscle by means of gap junction. There is gap junction between the smooth muscles also. Okay. We have also external elastic lamina. It is not as distinct as that of the internal elastic lamina, but we have external elastic lamina. It is less distinct. There is gap junction, aneurysm, that means abnormal dilatation of the blood vessel. That may happen in case of Marfan syndrome, Danlos syndrome, and may also found as a part of the aging process, especially in the aorta. Maybe in the medium-sized arteries, it may be ruptured. Okay. So if the aorta is ruptured, then it, it may be fatal. Bone equilibrium factor is a factor present in the endothelial cell as an inclusion body. Okay. And that if it is deficient, then there will be platelet aggregation will be hampered so that there will be more bleeding. Okay. So these are the highlights. Okay. So these are the references. And that's all about the histology of the muscular artery or medium sized artery. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.